Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas and this is lunch break. It's Thursday at noon and hopefully you can take a few minutes from your day and join me to uh, watch and maybe even try a little bit of easy crafting. I'm going to change things up just a little bit today. Still easy crafting but uh, I'm heading over to the kits. Paper pumpkin in particular. Uh, Stampin' Up! has some awesome kits that you can find online. Uh, you can order them. They are all-inclusive kits, so you get everything you need to complete your projects. Um, stamps, uh, a stamp set, ink, um, all the paper and embellishments that you need, uh, envelopes, glue dots, dimensionals, you name it, it's in that kit. So uh, it's, uh, you know, you skip the work and you go right to the fun. <laughs> and uh, Paper Pumpkin is also one of our kits. And it's a little bit different in that it is a subscription. So it, um, you subscribe. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this up on here. I got a really weird picture on there. So get that up so I can <laughs> make sure things are going as as I hope. Technology and I have been having a few uh, discussions lately. But anyway, uh, Paper Pumpkin is an awesome subscription kit. So each month it comes to your door and it's a, a brightly colored box, usually um, sort of reddish, orangish reddish. Um, I'll give you a little show of one here. Uh, looks kind of like this. And inside are all the yummy goodies that you need to complete the project for that month. It comes with um, every month there is a stamp set. There is an ink spot. So it's a great way to build up some stamps and some ink if you are new to paper crafting. Um, it has all the paper product that you need to complete the project. Um, you know, your card bases, your envelopes, all your layers, and a lot of it is uh, things that you punch out. There's often some stickers, and then there's also embellishments, perhaps some twine or some sequins or some other sorts of gems, something to add a little pizzazz to your card. Um, the very first month that you purchase Paper Pumpkin, you also get a clear block, and you can use that block for all the kits that you get after that. The reason I'm uh, doing Paper Pumpkin today is because I wanted to show you a little bit about what it's all about because if you have never subscribed, March is the best month to give it a try. Uh, March is Paper Pumpkin's birthday month and so Stampin' Up! always gives us a little extra gift in the March kit. Um, it's often a stamp set and this year it is a stamp set. so. The kit this year uh, will have an extra stamp set, so you will get two stamp sets along with the ink spot and all the paper and everything for the projects. The other reason why this March in particular is a wonderful month to give Paper Pumpkin a try is because it the kit this month is um, fashioned off of the New Horizons suite and the New Horizons designer series paper that is in the January to June mini catalog that is out now and that is that beautiful watercolor paper with the sort of uh, landscape paintings that they've captured on designer series paper so these uh, cards I think are just going to be stunning of course I don't know I haven't actually seen the kit but there are a couple little teasers out there so um, but I think it's it's going to be beautiful and I also think it may sell out so if you are interested you may want to uh, subscribe to that sooner as opposed to later you must subscribe before the 10th of the month so before the 10th of March because after that they close off the orders and then they start to ship the kits but um, you have from now until March the 10th to subscribe or if they sell out then it's then it's done but uh, anyway let's get to some crafting so I am going to flip this down get this, uh, there we go <laughs> the paper pumpkin boxes make great little storage boxes and uh, great boosters for uh, <laughs> for your or and holders for your uh, 
phone when you're doing a Facebook Live. All sorts of wonderful uh, things you can do with the boxes. Okay, so I have a couple that I wanted to show you. These are uh, past kits that I have completed starting with uh, January 2021, and it was called Sending Hearts. So the January kit is often Valentine themed, um, but these are the two cards that the kit made um, that month. So you can see there's patterned card bases, there's layers. Uh, this, I believe, was a sticker. I completed these a little while ago, so I'm not altogether positive anymore, but the U is one of the stamps. The love is something that we punched out. They gave us some ribbon for embellishments, and then these little, hopefully you can see that, these little pink, um, they're raised. They're smooth and raised and shiny, little pink heart embellishments. Uh, they also they give you all of the pieces for stamping. Here's another one of the stamps, Sending Love Your Way. There's one of those uh, hearts a little bit bigger. So hopefully you can see that one. And then all these pieces in a different patterned card base. Um, so they give you all of those things as well as envelopes to send those out. So, uh, so that was the one kit I wanted to share with you. Um, if Valentine's is not your thing, um, I mean, it just says love you and sending love your way. Those could be for anniversaries or friendship or all sorts of things. But you can also skip a month if you think it's something that you won't be interested in. They always send little teasers uh, and little hints about the kit. So if it's something that does not appeal to you, you can skip the month if you like. So the next one I have is called Bouquet of Hope. And it was from February 2021. And there was three different cards in this kit. Uh, so here they've given us all these different paper pieces, the pattern card bases again. Uh, I'll always be here for you. That was one of the stamps in the set. And then there's sequins for embellishments in this one. There was also some beautiful foil. Uh, and these were all cut out, so we just had to attach these and uh, some mossy meadow twine. Again, the pattern card base. And then there was um, a thinking of you. There was words that we pulled off and these were stickers. <laughs> so we didn't have to get glue on the back of that. Uh, this is vellum. I don't know whether you can see my finger under there, but uh, this was gold uh, edged vellum that went over the pink card base. And then all these flowers punched out. The kit included the dimensionals. It includes glue dots. So it is truly everything that you need to create uh, some beautiful projects. So I thought I would give you just a little bit of a demo of uh, a couple of quick cards since it, this is supposed to be a crafting time. So I have one. This actually, I didn't realize this one was so old, but this is from July of 2020. It doesn't seem like that was that long ago, but <laughs> it was a year and a half ago. <laughs> so this one is called um, Summer Nights, and it uh, was the kit was truly to make uh, little postcard invitations for a summer party. And so the uh, the sentiments, although they could apply to other occasions, um, you know, said things like, it's a party. That could just be a birthday, which is a party. Um, but there was also the, the when, where, RSVP, um, that sort of thing was included in the stamp set. And then some other sentiments. There were also little treat bags in this kit. And because these were postcards, and I guess Stampin' Up! thought perhaps not everyone would like uh, postcards, they had an add-on um, kit that you could purchase. You didn't need to, but you could purchase it, and it also uh, allowed you to make like 26 more cards. And they gave you a whole bunch of card bases. So these are some, I haven't used them all yet because they're, they're so beautiful. I was kind of, uh, you know, trying to decide exactly what I wanted to do with them. And as a result, I've sort of done nothing with them at this point. I should do them this way, shouldn't I? So that I don't 
put them on top of each other. But there are three different uh, card bases that they had in an extra add-on kit. So sometimes they have extra add-ons. Um, they're completely optional. You can purchase them or not, depending what you think you might like to do with your kit. But it just gives you even more crafting uh, options and possibilities. And these, I mean, these are just beautiful card bases. They can just be used for any old cards, even if they're not being used for your paper pumpkin kit. So this was the, uh, the postcard that was, in fact, part of the kit. And you can see they give you uh, pictures of all of the projects on the front. And then inside is all the instructions on how to put this together. There's also a video that comes out after the kits have been sent. So you have um, pictures and words, but you also have a video of someone putting the kit together. So there's lots of help uh, for doing these kits. I'm just going to kind of wing it a little bit. I'm doing this one. So uh, it's it's not uh, not a really difficult card, and I'm just looking for my uh, oh, I have it right here. Um, this is my half Stampin' Pierce mat that I've covered with paper, and uh, just using that because all of the uh, the paper pumpkin kits will all have photopolymer stamps so it's a good thing to have around if you don't uh, there is a piece of cardboard that comes in all of the kits you can put that underneath or just uh, you know whatever you have to make a a bit of a cushion underneath so this one they give you a vellum uh, mason jar that uh, to catch your fireflies so we are going to put a couple fireflies in our jar. <laughs> put them about there. There we go. The uh, ink spot that came with this was Blackberry Bliss. I tend to take my ink spots out and I keep them uh, separate. They are marvelous if you are using the Stamparatus uh, because they're just a little bit smaller. Well, they're a lot smaller than our regular uh, stamp pads, ink pads. And so they are easy to uh, ink your stamps when you have them on the Stamparatus. You tend not to get as much extra ink from the large stamp pad on your Stamparatus plates. Which, of course, isn't really the end of the world. You can always just <laughs> wipe it off, but it's just a little bit more work to do that. So um, I like the, the ink spots for that and I, I don't know that I have an ink spot here. I, I was sorting some of them this morning. I'm still working on moving back into the craft studio and trying to organize as I go. So it's a, a slow move, but I think in the long run it's the right thing to do since <laughs> since so many things were in boxes and everything. As I take it, take them out of the boxes, it's a good time to uh, go through things. So when you're adhering vellum, you don't want to just put adhesive everywhere because it will, uh, it will show. But you'll notice they've given us um, a number of things that are going on top of our vellum, like these little firefly guys. So there's, uh, and they always give you more. Uh, more product than you need. You're going to have leftover bits with these kits, which you can use for other cards or crafting projects, whatever you like. So I am going to, now I'm going to put these on with uh, dimensionals. This kit gave us uh, mini dimensionals because some of these things are small, but some of them some of them are, I think on these fireflies I can fit a regular dimensional. So I'm just going to throw one dimensional right onto each of these guys. Maybe it was, oh, perhaps I lied. This one may have given me regular dimensionals. And the next one that I have out could be small ones because it has some narrow strips. I'm noticing now. Anyway, one of them had mini dimensionals. <laughs> Sometimes they have... Uh, uh, regular size, and sometimes they seem to have a unique size that I've only really seen with uh, um, 
paper pumpkin kits. I haven't actually seen them. Like, we don't sell them, so. Wait, maybe he's a little bit low, right? Eh? The beauty of vellum, you can uh, <laughs> just pick your dimensional up and take it off of there. So the reason I'm attaching these first is because then I will be able to use this as a guide for where to put my adhesive behind uh, behind my vellum because I want to put the adhesive where I have something covering it. So I will show you that in just a moment. Whoops, I don't want this one off just yet because I'm going to put this right here and then I'm going to show you when you flip it over. So now I can put adhesive in all of these spots and you won't see it when we attach the card. Hey Terry, hi! You're out and about <laughs> doing errands. <laughs> Stop by on your phone. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're having a productive day getting all your errands done. I know uh, we actually went out yesterday and did a few things. I don't go out much. I had not been in a grocery store in weeks. <laughs> and I love to grocery shop. But um, since COVID started... Uh, Steve has been doing most of our grocery shopping, so I don't go to the grocery store very often. But he let me out yesterday. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I did go out and I did do some grocery shopping. And so, of course, it was like, oh, I haven't been in a grocery store in so long. I have to look around. What else do I want? What do I need? What haven't I looked at for a while? So I didn't go too crazy. It's funny because when we go out uh, grocery shopping, you know, he will come home with stuff that's on the list and if he deviates from the list it's usually in the meat department he's uh he's a big carnivore kind of guy uh, when i deviate from the list i'm into the the carbs and the junk food so <laughs> it's kind of a bad situation when either of us go shopping <laughs> we come home with stuff that we don't need and in my case stuff that i just shouldn't shouldn't be buying but uh but that's how it goes. Oh, look, I was supposed to stamp the uh, the starburst on here. And I didn't do that. I wonder if I can tuck one underneath. I am going to attempt to tuck one, one anyway, underneath. I have to go find the stamp. I didn't even mount it. I didn't notice. See, I didn't, uh, I did not read the instructions. <laughs> so here's the stamp set. <laughs> And they give you a little a little lantern and the firefly and then this, uh, it, I guess it's a fireworks burst. That was, I knew it was on there and I can see it on here. I didn't notice it on here, but I can probably get a little bit on here because I can kind of tuck it in here, I think. And then maybe I can get another part one up here. There we go. Now no one will know. Well, they might if they did this kit. They're looking at the instructions. But anyway, I think for the most part I have salvaged it. There is a little bit of uh, fireworks going on. So, <laughs> okay. And now we will put uh, this other firefly on. He can go that way. There we go. Now, because uh, I wanted to do this as a card as opposed to the postcards, but I've used the patterned uh, postcard from the kit, I am just going to mount it on uh, a basic white thick card base. So I will just do that. And I'm just debating whether I want it on dimensionals or not. I think I'm just going to put it down flat. So let's just add some adhesive. Guys, guys seem to like meat and potatoes. Yes, you know what? When uh, <laughs> It took a little bit of getting used to 
<laughs> when uh, when I first met Steve, <laughs> and I'd say to him, I said, so what's for dinner? And he'd say pork chops. And, oh, yeah, what are you having with that? Well, I'm having pork chops. That's my dinner. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a guy thing. <laughs> my, uh, my ex was, uh, he wasn't as much of a carnivore as Steve is, so it was a little bit of an adjustment. Is this a paper pumpkin kit? Yes, Terry, this is a paper pumpkin kit. Uh, actually, from July 2020. So we are uh, looking at paper pumpkin today because if you uh, do not currently subscribe to paper pumpkin, you absolutely want to get one month at least um, of the, and that's the March kit this year because it features the New Horizons uh, designer series paper. It, it, it will coordinate with that suite, and that paper is stunning. So you get all the watercolor look. And uh, and because March is Paper Pumpkin's birthday month, they always give us an extra little gift, usually a second stamp set, which is what it is this year. So you'll get two stamp sets, uh, the ink spot and all your kit components. So it's an awesome deal. Uh, for March. It's always an awesome deal, but it's an even more awesome deal this March, and it will be, I think, beautiful. So that's why I thought we'd take a look at some paper pumpkin kits, because they're also easy crafting. <laughs> so the next card that I have is from the uh, March 2021 kit, and it's called Here's to You. And there was two cards uh, in this kit, and you can see here, sometimes the envelopes are printed on the inside. These are actually envelope liners, which means if you decide you don't want to uh, do all your cards exactly the way the kit says, you now have an extra piece of designer series paper that you can play with. <laughs> so um, I did use this. I cut this and used some of it as designer series paper for a layer on a card when uh, we made some alternates. Um, and that was during my uh, Paper Pumpkin party. If you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, oh yeah, this is the one with the mini dimensionals. There we go, look at that. Um, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, each month I host uh, a Paper Pumpkin and Kits party. So if you have Paper Pumpkin or you've purchased one of our kits, you can join uh, in on the party on Zoom. And we just craft and chat and visit and socialize and all the rest of it. So it's just a, a fun night. And then uh, <laughs> then you don't end up with the uh, <clears throat> the orange box stack that uh, you may have heard some people talk about when they uh, you know they don't don't complete their kits and then the boxes pile up. So so this card base has. Uh, a printed image on it and then there are three some other strips uh, just to add some extra embellishments there are some trees that are uh, that you punch out that will go onto the card here to add a little bit more and uh, then there is some twine and some pieces for the sentiment so the sentiment here there is a happy birthday and there is a here's to you and that's the one that I'm going to use on this card. The uh, An extra gift in March. Yes, March is always a good month to uh, participate in Paper Pumpkin. <laughs> we all love extra free stuff, don't we? So um, the ink spot for this kit was Calypso Coral. Again, I have taken the uh, spot out and put it with my Stamparatus stuff. But I do have all of these ink pads, so we're good. But sometimes I like to stamp uh, my sentiment on here before I punch it out. I don't know why. You would think that if I could see the edges uh, really clearly because it was punched out that it would be easier, but for some reason I tend to find it easier to stamp and then punch it out. So whatever, <laughs> whichever way you do it doesn't matter. Um, as you play with it, you will find what works best for you. So this one cloud uh, strip, there are two little little birds flying in the sky, and we're just going to add those 
in here as well on this piece. There we go. A couple little birds in the sky. And I always like to do all of my stamping first and then I can put my uh, ink away and get on with assembly. So I will bring in my card base and um, Maybe I'll just take a little peek at the instructions here. <clears throat> Not that it really matters, but uh, let me see what it says here. So I need to do a little nest of um, twine on this. And add white labels with glue dots or mini dimensionals. Uh, I was just wondering, these are on dimensionals, so... Yes, adhere to card front with mini dimensionals. Okay, so we'll do this one <laughs> the way it was sort of intended. So all of these bits and pieces are oof, going to go on with dimensionals, including my trees. And that's why they give you mini dimensionals, because uh, there's lots of little areas here where we want to get a dimensional on. And the big ones would just hang over the edges. So get there we go. Let's see how far down we can go with this. I probably could have gone a little higher on some of those. I'm just gonna put this one about here so it doesn't hang over the edge. Maybe I can move this one up a notch. There we go. And then uh, some on this piece. And some on... This going to be a lot, of, a lot of little bits to pull off. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, but it'll look good when it's done. Maybe I will... <laughs> Just make this a little bit easier for myself and go right over here with some bigger dimensionals for this piece. So I want, actually want to do, oh, I could do this green piece, couldn't I? Because it just goes at the bottom. The top piece, I think I want to start off the top, on the top one just so I can kind of gauge my spacing a little bit looks like there's lots of room for them both but we will do that okay so this one they have off to the edge and again you don't have to do it exactly the way they have it um, but I like to I often just do the kit some people like to just do uh, some of the kit I always do one at least one of the cards from the kit and then sometimes I'll change things up um, some months, though, the cards are so pretty, I just sit and do the cards exactly like the kit. And it's just, it's like going to a card class. Everything's prepared for me. Everything's cut and ready to go. And uh, somebody tells me what to do and how to do it. It's awesome. <laughs> I have also used paper pumpkin kits for uh, scrapbook pages. They are awesome for that because there's often so many uh lovely images and stamps and stuff things like this um, especially if you'd taken a trip out west or something um, could be awesome for a scrapbook page so whoop. but for now we're just doing a card okay this guy goes on the top Lots of little bits. So there is a little bit of a, a trailer out for this month's kit. And I will uh, post that for you on my Facebook page so that you can have a little, a little peek at what is coming. I think I want this down a little bit further. Be right about there should work. Then we'll get this one in between those two, and then I just need to do the sentiment piece. So, put the 
this one over to this edge. And this, see, by doing that one first, I can center this so that the gap in there is approximately the same size. And then, uh, so this, if you notice in the instructions here, they've got this twine, um, they've attached it to the, the sentiment, but they've you put glue dots down underneath the twine to kind of hold it in place. Um, and then they've added dimensionals on the edge. So the instructions are, are very detailed. And I don't have any glue dots here right now, but I do have tape runner. So I'm just going to put some tape runner on there. And then I am just going to, uh, this is actually fairly small, isn't it? I'm just going to wrap this around a few times. I don't know that I'm going to do quite as much as they have, but I think four is plenty. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's uh, more than they did anyway. But so where it joins, you je definitely want to make sure that. Uh, I don't know whether I particularly care for that. <laughs> I'll just maybe just a couple of pieces. Cut it in half. Let's see. Can you tell it was on a roll? It's a little, okay. I'm gonna cut this in half because it's, uh, now I don't think I want as much as I cut, so now it's all getting in the way. So let's just go down here and we will cut this in half there. Some for the next card. And then I'm just going to grab this and wrap it around here. That's perhaps more, more like what I want. So then you just want to make sure you have your ends uh, stuck down. I wanted it a little more the other way tonight. So always, I always forget that I'm working backwards on these things. So I am going to put this a little bit more like this, I think. And you can just play with this until it uh, kind of spreads out the way that you want it to because uh, it'll stick. It's very sticky. <laughs> it's very, it keeps sticking to me. <laughs> so, and then they just had a couple of dimensionals on each end here. I think I might pop one into the middle here as well now that I have my thread down. Then this will just go onto the card right about. They have it right about here. I think I'm going to keep it. Well, then you won't see the bottom. And then you kind of don't. Maybe I'll go right down about here, and then then you sort of get the maximum tree still. Just would like to get it straight. <laughs> There we go. So there's that card. And then uh, there's the decorated envelope that that would go into. Just like that. So there's the two cards that we made. And uh, where did my other cards go? Here's some of the other cards. So as you can see, the paper pumpkin is just an awesome way to... Um, to get some really pretty cards. Quick, easy, and uh, beautiful. Things that you wouldn't necessarily create because you wouldn't have uh, these stamp sets and things. These are all exclusive to Paper Pumpkin. So it's, uh, it's something different for your crafting. And it's fun because it's all, all prepared for you. All the thinking, all the cutting, it's ready to go. You just sit down and get right to the fun. And you can have that fun at, uh, at our Paper Pumpkin Party. So I will leave the link to subscribe. And uh, I strongly encourage you to 
check it out. Order the March kit. You can get just one month and then cancel. You are not in any way obligated to get uh, to continue this for any length of time. You can subscribe and uh, just get one month and then cancel it, or you could, you know, suspend it for a month if you don't think you're interested in the kit. All sorts of flexibility, but they are awesome. They are awesome and they are fun, and uh, so, so you need to subscribe. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see if I can bring us back here. I can't keep the cards on, but just... Oh, well, while we're back, I just want to see the mess of the craft studio. Look at all those cartons still. <laughs> okay, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so um, this end of the craft studio is not too bad, but the other end clearly still has a lot of boxes in it. That's sort of where everything got piled. So um, I'm working on it. <laughs> But anyway, that is lunch break for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are watching this replay, do leave me a comment and let me know that you've uh, stopped by. And uh, I hope to see you at a paper pumpkin party in the near future. Take care. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Bye for now.